Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 13th research video for my deck design Savage Strikers to deck building fighting game. Today's date is November 29th, 2020, 319 AM. So to recap, uh, the game paced along uh, nicely. However, um, the decks got uh, built a little too much and resulted in a lack of the uh, trash mechanic that is common that is commonplace for uh, deck building games so I had to make some uh, quick adjustments and what I did was on certain cards uh, some cards like the guard card here as you could see I created a new uh, symbol this is um, basically the recycle uh, uh, symbol and it goes into the recycle pile uh, um, designating that um, you have the ability to send cards to the, the recycle pile um, just to, just to be clear uh, let's see what else um, I forgot to um, well even though you know you know um, how you say I, I, I missed that missed out on an opportunity during um, uh, during the play test to uh, demonstrate uh, another uh, mechanism for purchasing cards and that is the um, the pile purchase in which you can buy an entire pile for uh, five uh, five economy uh, five charge points. So I'm hoping now I'll get another chance to do that. Um, there was a lot of ties um, during uh, the neutral play, which was uh, very interesting. Um, but of course, bear in mind that since I am uh, solo play testing and uh, um, having this randomized uh, shuffled out hand, um, if it was an actual uh, human player, uh, the cards that were played that were um, that resulted in tie would most likely not have been played. It would have been a completely different gameplay. Okay, so uh, that's the end of recap. So let's go with the updates. So the first update is the uh, is the new recycle uh, icon, which is called recycle. <laughs> I know that was so dramatic, such a dramatic pause, but yes, it's the it's the recycle um, the recycle icon, which you'll find on cards uh, um, um, like like parry and, and black, as well as your starter cards. And basically, what it does is um, uh, during the end phase, you may sweep this card. So if uh, if you feel like you get um, you could get your hands on a better card. Um, you can sweep uh, sweep parry. Sweep is the the name of the recycle mechanic, and what sweep does is it sends cards right to the recycle pile, just like that. So it's a quick way of getting rid of um, getting rid of uh, some of the starter cards. Um, there are other cards that will um, that have the ability to uh, to sweep, like for example side chop. Now side chop originally didn't have uh, an ability, but now it does, and it says here during the end phase you may sweep one of your played cards. So any card that you have played, uh, uh, you can get rid of them during the end phase. So if you feel like those uh, um, starter cards are getting too much of a clutter, uh, just play side chap and throw it right on into the recycle pile. Okay. Let's see. I believe that is. Um, those are the only updates. Uh, one rule update. Oh, and also I updated knockback. To uh, to make the cards unstoppable, so whenever you um so even though this is uh, the end of the combo, the ability knockback kicks in. So now it's uh it's re uh, it's read as you may play the next one unstoppable attack or one unstoppable throw during this combo if that card's um, normal uh, uh, combo arrows are less than this card's end combo arrows. So what this means is. Uh, so what this means is that if you play this card last. And you get the knockback, uh, you know, it activates and you get the knockback. You could play Side Chop, which has three arrows, which is less than um, than five arrows. And this card will be unstoppable. So your opponent cannot play a, a defense uh, when that happens. If, uh, if you happen to have uh, watched uh, uh, my playthroughs of um, my life playthroughs, uh, roster runs of Linne and and Ryu. You'll probably notice uh, um, that um, that some of the characters get you know bounced off the screen, 
and you can continue your combo um, from that um, bouncing off the screen and it doesn't make sense that uh, if your opponent got knocked back bounces off the screen that he could suddenly guard himself the whole entire purpose of that bounce off is so you could be able to extend your combos and that's pretty much what knockback is supposed to do is to extend your combos okay so that is all of the uh, known updates from uh, the previous uh, playtest so now today's playtest We're going to continue on focusing, of course, on, on Nagisa, but I'm also going to um, uh, try and uh, utilize um, the recycle icon and also try to um, actually get an, uh, the, the pile purchase from during the buy phase in which you could purchase a, an entire pile instead of individual cards uh, for, five, uh, for five economy. I'm also going to try and uh, do the playtest with as minimal uh, uh, verbiage as possible. I like speak less so you can actually see the turn flow um, during the course of the, of the game with, uh, with, uh, with, some, with very little commentary. There will be commentary, but that will um, that'll be relevant to the, to the situation. Okay, so without further ado, let us begin. All the cards are pre-shuffled. Everything is set up. Let us begin round one. Okay. So uh, I'm opening up with two guard cards, two throw cards, an attack, and a movement. I will choose a guard card. The guard card wins the neutral play. My opponent will respond. My opponent has played the evade card. He will subtract uh, two damage from one of my starters. So he will take zero damage from my jab. Play channel. My opponent will do a reversal with shoulder flip. Channel is discarded. He has become the offense player. I take one damage. His combo has ended. The fight phase is over. I have one economy. I will purchase Crouch. Hmm. 
My opponent cannot buy anything. Proceed to the end phase. End of round one. Now begins round two. Neutral plays the uh, plays tied. First tiebreaker combo arrows. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Combo arrows are tied. Proceed to second tiebreaker. Which is the decks. Each player succeeded in drawing a card. It is tied. We now reset. Repeat neutral play. Neutral play is tied. Attack card versus attack card. Begin first tiebreaker. Combo arrows. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is tied. Next tiebreaker. Deck advantage. My opponent has no deck to draw a card. I have a card to draw from deck from. I now have the advantage. I become the offense player. My opponent will take one damage. Play another jab, it is unstoppable. My opponent takes another damage. I play a jab again, it is unstoppable. My opponent takes another damage. I play shoulder flip, which is also unstoppable. 
and my opponent takes one more damage. Combo has ended. Five phase. My attack is now piled. Hmm. I will purchase dash for three. One, two, three. I will stock this. My opponent does not have enough in, in stock to purchase a card. Dash is the bottom of the deck. Discard it. End phase. Reshuffle to replenish the deck. Just to make sure you can see that I have stocked the throw card. I'll put that right there and I'll do the same there we go so we have the stock cards right there so you can uh, see visibly two, three, four. drawing two more cards to complete my hand one two from a player opts to discard a card to draw two. End of round two. Begin round three.
Movement card ties attack card in neutral play. Tiebreaker are the arrows. One combo arrow to four combo arrows. I win. I will activate draw a card. And now discard for to complete the icon. I'll play jab. My opponent can respond. My opponent plays jab for reversal. My combo automatically ends and I become the defense player. My opponent is now the offense player. I take one damage. My opponent opted to play channel, so I play reversal, shoulder flip, five arrows to his five arrows, so I become the offense player. Combo ends, and he takes one damage. Okay, by order goes to me since I had won the neutral play with dash, and my opponent will purchase. Uh, my opponent will purchase first. Uh, I apologize. My opponent gets to purchase first. Uh, since I won uh, the neutral play and I purchased second. Just to note, there was two light attack cards in the light attack pile, therefore a card does not get drawn out since one light attack was purchased.
end of round three. Now begins round four. Okay. Guard versus guard. Neutral play is tight. Combo arrows are tight. Draw deck time. There is no deck to draw here. Card drawn deck here. I become neutral. Uh, become the offense player. I am now the offense player. I elect to draw one card to activate um, this. And I'll discard this. I'll play Crouch. My opponent gets to respond. Reversal is played. This is light attack. This blue button matches up with this blue button on the striker card. I will be taking two damage. My opponent decide My opponent decided to um, use the effect, draw one card, discard one card. Deck is now shuffling. Evade will be discarded. My opponent jabs. It is unstoppable. I can reverse with shoulder flip. He takes one damage. And the combo ends because he's in uh, combo arrows. My opponent gets to buy first. He's 
going to purchase from the recycle pile here. Recycle pile is um, half the cost round up. So instead of three, he pays two. I will stock and I have uh, no way of purchasing. You go to the end phase. I'm going to stock this. You will restock that. I'm going to activate the icon and I'm going to sweep uh, eBay to thin out my deck. It goes right to the recycle pile. I'll keep my hand and draw two cards. My opponent elected to discard both cards and draw a full hand. End round four. Begin round five. Movement card ties neutral playing. First tiebreaker, combo arrows. One, two, three. My opponent has two combo arrows. He wins. My opponent has opted to activate the draw icon on the evade card. My opponent opens up with jab. I get to respond. I will play jab as a reversal. My opponent takes one damage.
I'll play focus. My opponent. My opponent gets to respond. Reversal. Combo is ended. Proceeding to the buy phase. Because my opponent uh, um, became the offense player during neutral playing. I get to purchase first. Bring in my one stack. That was heavy attack, so a heavy, uh, a heavy attack pile has been made. Another card must be drawn to fill in the empty slot. Now my opponent purchases cards. He purchases from the recycle pile again. End phase. End of round four. Begin round five. Movement card ties neutral play. Combo arrows are the tiebreaker. One arrow to three arrows. I become the offense player. I elect to draw a card and discard one card.
my opponent gets to respond. My opponent plays block. Block. Take zero damage from one attack normal or one attack unique. Subtract three from one attack special or one attack savage. Because um, Dash gave me the ability uh, um, to bolster up my damage. I had the opportunity to do four damage instead of two. But because of block, now only deals zero damage. It only blocks damage, but does not stop uh, um, the charge icon or the effect box. I will activate the effect box so I could draw one card and discard one card. My opponent will also um, um, elect to draw one card and discard one card. Block does not end my combo. I can actually resume. Now play jab. It is unstoppable. Now I'll shoulder flip, which is also unstoppable. combo ends. So in the buy phase my opponent has no uh, money to purchase cards. My attack pile is growing. I get to buy, uh, purchase cards myself. Go one and two. Uh, light attack. Let's see another recycle pile. The recycle pile only has two. What I should have done is really um, done these two. Yeah. That's going to be my payment. Alright, so I got nothing more to buy. Go to the end phase. I will stock that. Guard these. These will be kept. I'll also keep my cards. I draw four. One, two, three, four. I hope you all could be able to hear me. I've been moving the microphone uh, back and forth. But um, I'm hoping that the uh, gameplay in and of itself is uh, very clear.
End of round five. I will do one more round, round six, and then call it the call it the the test. Movement card ties neutral play. Jump wins with two combo arrows to so four combo arrows. I elect to draw one card with this icon and discard one card. My opponent responds. Reversal. Next card is medium attack. Now medium attack has the yellow button. That means I'll be taking three damage since it's unstoppable. Medium attack's effects says take any one normal or one unique from your discard pile to your hand. My opponent takes black. It's a normal card. My opponent plays shoulder flip. It is unstoppable. And that ends the combo. Another light attack. We go to the buy phase. My opponent purchased first since he lost neutral play. I have no, uh, I only have one in stock. It's nothing I could do. Five phase ends. Cleanup begins.
and that is the end of round six. So I'm going to stop right here and assess. So, um, yes, the, um, the game is pacing along nicely in terms of doing damage, card purchases, and whatnot. However, uh, the sweep mechanic, um, the, the icon is a little on the weak side, but I think it's not so much uh, um, this that is the problem, but um, most likely to start, um, uh, well, part of it, I would say, is um, uh, the combo arrows on the movement cards. I think I'm going to have to um, bring them down. So, for example, uh, channel, uh, instead of being five combo, arrow, um, combo arrows, I'll bring it down to three. And I'll do the same with, uh, with focus. And I'm going to make uh, um, all the movement cards set at three. That should be able to help um, uh, get the, uh, the icon going. And since focus um, also has the sweep ability, because it doesn't really win because it's set at four, I'll bring it down to three. Uh, to see uh, to make it a lot fa um, better to to win uh, win out on the tiebreakers and that'll probably be the cap for all movement cards they'll be set at one two and three it might make them way too powerful perhaps but um, but uh, I'm gonna have to see what happens but it may be offset by the fact that when a movement card gets played the next card that gets played uh, the opponent can respond uh, to it. Uh, as uh, seen frequently so it may not be bad um, if the movement cards win because then you can't really be that self-reliant on it knowing that the next card you play could get blocked uh, very easily by defense so that could be uh, could be the balance so that's the risk of uh, playing a movement card uh, in that manner um, throw cards uh, I'm gonna need to get uh, purchased well if this game would have gone full uh, um, gone more full Knowing that my opponent had a handful of uh, guard cards, I probably would have been uh, buying up the throw cards at this point. Um, so that way I could be able to uh, beat them. And they provide extra uh, extra um, energy, so I'll be able to buy a little something. Or I could stock, you know, um, I could buy a little something and stock it, uh, so, so to speak. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get any of the um, uh, these cards purchased. So that's very disappointing. That's actually a major setback, and that is due to the fact that uh, focus is not uh, is not being prominent, and channel's been um, is just getting completely creamed because of the uh, the number of arrows. So that's what's uh, that's what's stunting uh, the situation here, and that's going to make it very difficult to uh, proceed with uh, with uh, with the other fighters. If I can't get uh, if I can't get uh, focus or, or the movement cards to really um, to really make a, a dent because yeah they they do win but then that whole reversal thing starts happening so maybe I'll have to also look into reversal and see I mean I think reversal is okay because you got to have an exact number of arrows. So it just can't really play certain cards. But maybe. Maybe do something with the movement cards. Um, well. Well. I don't know if I want to do it again with uh, with Dash. But um, in, in the older drafts. Dash uh, made the next card. Um, you play unstoppable. So I don't know if that, um, but I, I switched it out with doing extra damage. So I don't know if that's something that I would like to bring back into the fold. But I think I, I don't want to get too ahead yet. I want to focus squarely on just trying to get the, the focus cards to win out and be able to uh, overcome reversal. I mean, the reversal is fine, like I said, but... Um, I don't think the I don't think reversal is that bad. Uh, they'll have to do some more testing, uh, more play testing. But after six rounds, uh, damage has been done significantly, um, all things considered, uh, thirty-nine to thirty-six uh, uh, in favor of uh, microphone player. 
Um, everything flowed a little nicely, uh, despite the fact that I don't have a human opponent. <laughs> but um, something tells me that that being that this has only been six rounds, that probably in the later rounds, that that's when the economy gets a little bit more um, more uh, plentiful, and these cards will will get uh, scooped up. Um, I definitely um, I definitely think that's uh, this is okay. Um, how it happened in the six rounds because getting five uh, economy means you could buy an entire pile outright and then you could just start spamming specials so that is something that has to be very much considered um i'll have to i'll have to uh see about doing 10 rounds then to see if that is the case if uh between round uh between six and ten uh, an entire pile gets purchased uh, maybe that's what that would be good but I also have to consider the fact that uh, people may want to get the specials um, as soon as possible. But I don't want them getting it at round 3 or round 4. I'm not sure about round 5. But it all depends on the pace of play when two players go at it. Because the, the last thing I want is a player to be able to uh, get 5 economy within those first 5 rounds. And then all of a sudden they get a whole pile and then now they have the full advantage and just start destroying their opponent. And they'll never get a chance to to do um, to do anything, especially if you get a card like say claw swipe, which is uh, which has two arrows. And if you get that in your draw, and you will, because it'll be at the bottom of your pile, you'll get that that free opening. Hmm. So uh, the recycle icon, very sound. I was able to do that with evade um, since I had one out, and I was able to send that away. But uh, without the focus card um, um, being used, um, being put to um, put to use, being able to stay out here, uh, focus has an uh, in addition to two has one um, two economy. Also has the effect where during your end phase you could you may sweep any one played card and increase your hand size by one card uh, this turn. So focus, which is supposed to be like the scout ships in uh, in Star Realms, um, the um, like that, uh, those type of cards, economy cards. You're supposed to buy focus in the early in the early outset, so that way uh, you not only can get the two economy, but the purpose is is so you could be able to thin out the starter cards as you start getting uh, more and more uh, of the purchased cards. Eventually, um, uh, well, you would be able to have enough to be able to get a whole pile of specials if you want, or if you want to mix and match, um, however you want to go about it. But that's basically, uh, but that's basically what focus card is supposed to do. And because um, I have it set at uh, four arrows, I brought it down from, from from six to four. It's still not enough. It's not um, staying out there because that's actually a big difference. If you notice, um, even though um, even though I got reversed on the second card, dash did stay out there along as well as crouch in. Um, as well as uh, jump actually and, and, and crouch because I had crouch as well so because these cards actually worked in terms of winning me the uh, the initiative um, they stayed out there because the next card that was played wasn't unstoppable and they were able to reverse it but I still got these out there and if I could get focus to do the same thing to just be out there like this that's two economy so you could be able to buy the light attack or any card that's in a recycle pile or another focus card um, if necessary And therefore, and therefore, allowing you to um, uh, uh, build up, uh, build up uh, your deck in a sense, or you could stock it and have two uh, two available uh, for the next turn if you're able to pull off a long combo. Uh, if you're able to pull off uh, um, a couple of cards in your combo, but the point is, is that focus has to has to make a difference, and the four arrows are not helping. So I'm. Um, so that's a that's a key change that's going to have to happen, um, and if I get the focus cards to work the um, to to uh, um, at three arrows, that could make the big difference for the game overall. So I'm going to see what happens on the next play test with the focus arrows with the focus cards. Okay, so the, um, that's the that's the whole assessment. Um, I don't see any need to change anything up at the moment outside of the focus cards. Um, once I see if the focus cards make the difference in terms of beating neutral play, 
then uh, then I might not even uh, have to bother. Well, I am going to bring channel down also. Um, but I don't want channel. Well, I'll probably bring channel down by one notch rather than three. Because I don't want it more powerful than focus. I want this card to be gone. You know, this starter card to be gone. So I'll probably bring it down to four. And let focus card sit at three. Okay, so um, that's it. This is uh, this is the conclusion of the uh, um, playtest of Nagisahino uh, uh, for today. The next playtest will continue on getting to uh, Nagisahino. Um, the entire um, uh, playtest will center around the the focus cards. In addition to uh, um, Nagisa and getting her move set um, rolling. And crossing my fingers that that will that will change everything, and I may not have to do any more to any of the other cards. So, with that said, thank you all uh, for joining me for um, this uh, playthrough and this playtest. Um, uh, if you are uh, if you're interested in um, uh, merch. And merchandising, uh, just go on down to the description below where you find links uh, to my novel, The Impossible Man, uh, my song, my theme song, uh, Peanut Butter Jelly uh, Splatterbomb theme, um, as well as uh, merchandising for uh, spreadshirt merchandising for The Impossible Man, Splatterbomb, and Arcana Magi. Also, um, if you are, uh, you are uh, cordially invited. Uh, to join this channel, please select the uh, subscribe button below and RSVP in the comments uh, in the comments section. I welcome uh, welcome you to the channel and thank you for your viewership. So thank you all for joining me. I wish you all a good night and a buenas noches.